Hi everyone, welcome back to Japan. Today we're going to go to the southern island of Kyushu, Japan to visit one of my favorite companies in the whole world, Hawks. Now, Hawks is a company that made a profound impact on me about 12 years ago when I first visited there. And the president got me down on my hands and knees and made me clean the floor to teach me humility. So, when I take people there on the Japan study mission, the first thing we do is get a quick orientation in their conference room on what Hawks is and what they do. They build electronic circuitry boards. Then we begin our little tour of their cafeteria area. And we actually look down into their parking lot because they actually park all the cars the same way. And the 800cc and below engines go in one area, and the larger cars go in another area. They have all the parking stalls are very precisely marked out. Everything at Hawks is precisely done, including cleaning your feet. So, not only do they not want to bring any contaminants into the facility because of the precision in which they have to do their work, but they want to make sure there's no static electricity. So, there's a very careful process you go through, then you mark down. That you did clean your feet so you can go into the facility. It's really incredible the way they think about every last little detail. Their bathrooms are beautiful, they're clean, they're simple, they're not really fancy, but there's a clear process on how to take care of them. All their electronic reels and circuitry boards are nicely arranged on these racks, all made out of Gemba pipe. Everything's done very simply. And then as we walked around, we saw all kinds of cool little clever innovations. Not high tech, very simple, like this little table that moves around within a table so they can solder the circuit boards very easily. Look how this little table moves around within a table. Very cool. And then I tried it. So I'm at Hawks, world famous Hawks, the ones, the company that changed my life. And I'm in a cell now, and I'm noticing that she's over here moving this table around. So as she's soldering, she needs to position the circuit board underneath the microscope and look how clever. They opened this whole thing up and now this little cart moves around within this constraint area. So as she's working here, she can move with her legs anything she wants. So thoughtful. So this is a great work cell. Notice he's standing straight up. He's comfortable. He's got his work light above there. He's got the magnifier there. He's got the iPad right there. He's got the clear work instructions right here. He has his tape right there. He's not struggling at all. He even has a fan right here, and the fan is so he's comfortable, so he can focus 100% on doing quality. Fabulous work cell. Notice the light, the tape, the fan, all the schematics. She's measuring, she's looking. She's standing straight up, very comfortable. Got a little dustpan, a trash can, everything's on wheel. She has a static electricity mat. She has Kaizen corners to indicate the direction. She has her Kanban that she's working from on this side. Items in, items out, as she inspects every item. As you enter their facility, there's a timer that measures the speed in which you're walking down the aisles because they want you to walk at a relatively brisk pace, not leisurely, because time is money and you want to be very sensitive to the resources. Mr. Amazawa here. Former Vice President Alexis does his little time, and he does the exact time yeah, you need to. He's just wow, showing the example. Now, when line. I did it, I didn't walk fast enough. But it's so cool. It just makes you very conscious and very aware of what you're doing at all times. So this represents the line that's doing the work. That's how they identify the line. These represent the processes, insertion, washing, and post-processing. Then they add these on. You can see all these just get insertion and post-processing, but no washing, as you can see all the way down the line. So as you can see, they've created a very visual workplace. Everything's on wheels. Everything's flexible, including their soda machines up in their main cafeteria area. They have a great visual cue card here where they actually put the color-coded rings on accordingly to what needs to be done to each process. All the production carts are on little rollers. Japan is all about quality. If you're in the toilet production system, that's it. And all these individuals are saying, we guarantee the quality. Again, super visual workplace. You can tell by what flip sign is up exactly the status of a particular cell, work area, or piece of equipment. Really cool, super easy to understand. You walk in and just go, oh, I could work here in a second because everything's so clear doorway full access so they put a hole in there so the door would open all the way giving you a little more room as you walk up the steps there's clear signs and information in terms of team building and important things you should know. Mr. Amazawa points out that the steps say small change makes big progress. 
So good Gamba is the best salesman. Right, so okay. good, he said, you know, because we don't have a brand, so like if we have a good Gamba, then it, it, won't, it speaks. Okay. Uh, three promises that we don't say. So the first one, it says, we don't talk about the past. And number two, we don't talk about others. And number three, we, don't, we, we never say we can't without trying. So Hawks is one of those special places we visit on the Japan study mission. It's just so cool. It made a big impact on me and my lean journey, and I owe them so much. Welcome to Japan.